Okay, guys and girls, we are back at the ranch and uh, gonna look at see what's happening here with our nubbins. And it looks like they're getting a little bit bigger. And this is forest right here. And my problem is I left my microphone kit bag. This is forest and TC is what this is right here. I've left both of those at Sherry's house. And we got windy weather, but you can see just what we've been gone to Argentina. You can see the difference here in these two. Now I'm gonna try to film early and late and take a look, but you can see what our man Forrest is doing here this year with his antlers. Now I'm out here talking, so we may get one or two more deers up. And that's uh, that's TC out there. And again, I'm got I'm just handheld here. Because I wanted to try to protect the wind from the speaker as much as I possibly could. But I want to get out here and take a look at these two guys. Look at those nubbins. Look at those pretty white around Forrester's eyes. Those are big nubbins. That's a big start right there. We're going to get to watch these guys over the next couple, two or three months, all the way up till, you know, they get hard horns this fall. Beautiful white around that deer's eyes. You remember how injured he was, and look at him now. Beautiful, big, fat boy. TC, TC is looking nice and fat there. He's an old guy, and uh, we know he's got some ticks on him there, I see. Not a whole lot we can do about that. We'll put some stuff on that rub rail over there and let them, let them uh, rub their back on that. Might help a little bit. TC's, uh, the force is right up here. You'll see a tick on him too. Now I can put, I need to get a collar on him if I can the next day or two. But uh, I'm gonna get up here kindly close. I'm handheld and everything. Hi buddy, hi buddy, hey there. Hey, it's gonna be hard to get a collar on you because you're just not real. You're acting kind of suspicious. No need to act suspicious. So Jimmy, you've been gone for about two weeks. How about that? How about just a handful there for you? Some back there for TC. We'll see if we can't get somebody else up here too. Let's throw a little bit out there. The feeder, the feeder will be going off here in a little bit. I just want to come out and get as close a look as I could to these nubbins because, again, this is something that you see here on uh, the Twin Eagle Ranch channel that you won't see on a lot of uh, channels because of the fact that it's hard to get pictures like this of deer out in the wild. These are deer are not pinned. Granted, Force is my baby. We raised him from a bottle. He was just all but dead when we rescued him. And now this will be his third set of horns and he could be something pretty special this year. He really could. TC's horns may be going down, but you can see he's got a, a good start there with some big knobs already. In fact, they're, they're much larger than Forrest, as a matter of fact. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, will you look at those? I mean, he's got some big ones. And, and he's cautious too. It's amazing how the deer turn wild. And he's saying, what do you mean wild, Jimmy? You're standing right there talking to him. Well, in comparison, because, you know, TC has never been a deer to eat out of your hands, but Forrest has, and you can see. And I, what I'll do is I'll put some uh, ivermectin. I'll fill a needle full of ivermectin and put it on his head and back. That'll keep those ticks off of him. But you can see just how big, beautiful deer he really is. And uh, TC's looking awful good back there, too. And golly, look at the size of his nubbins that he's got up there. I don't know if what you call them nubbins or not, because that's what we usually call fawns, and I don't know if you can call these nubbins. I sure would like to get a collar on you, buddy boy, and that's going to be kind of tough to do. Of course, i got to get it on pretty quick, because uh, real fast you're not going to be able to get, get anything over those. Those are going to come out pretty quick. They're going to grow very fast. You know how fast they grow. And here comes somebody else up there, and that's a wild doe. And that wild doe, thankfully the wind quit blowing here while I'm while I was doing this, that is a wild doe, and look how fat she is. She looks like she can domino any minute. She's sticking out on both sides. She's got to be carrying triplets or something. Now, that doe looked like that last spring also, and we never did have a baby. I mean, she had babies, but they either didn't make it or a coyote got them or something, but look at her now. I mean, here it is, the middle of April. 
Will you look at her? She's not tagged. She's a totally wild deer. Where are you, baby? You see, there's no tag in that deer. 100% wild. But we've whispered her up here throughout time. She would have a deer in her left ear, being a double. She's come up pretty close and eating something I threw down there. Look at those. You can almost see those babies moving inside of her. Golly. She's got at least twins, may have triplets. And uh, she's just beautiful, gorgeous, big old fat girl. And uh, you don't know, we might kind of keep an eye on her and go be able to go rescue one or two of her babies and keep them away from the coyotes. We'll see. Hopefully she makes them and she can raise them on her own. She's just a gorgeous girl. And again, we'll take a little quick look at I don't see anybody else coming up. I'll try to get, um, we're working, got meetings this week in Bentonville and Fort Smith. I've got film scheduled for Thursday and Friday in Texas. And so uh, we're gonna have to look at these deer quickly, hopefully be able to get some more. And we don't have a microphone, so the wind's gonna give us some problems, but the wind died down just as I started talking. The only wind coming out here right now is me, guys. So, but look at, look at, look at TC. These are my two boys right here that hopefully have bred quite a few does. Hopefully, Forrest might have even bred somebody on the outside. That's a good, close look at the nubbins. That's what they look like when they first start. Now, hopefully we got some more bucks. I saw a couple more deer out there, not too far across the road. I thought that they might start coming up when I'm talking, but there is lots and lots and lots and lots for them to eat right now. They are uh, hooked on South Fresh Deer Food, no doubt about that, coming out of the feeder. But uh, but there's a lot for them to eat in the wild as well. And there's another deer out there that's come up. And that's, what are you coughing about, Forrest? There's another deer coming up. And let's see what we got right here. Let's just kind of hang in here for a minute and see what we have. I think that's another big pregnant doe. Okay, here comes two deer. And I believe those are two more, those are two more wild deer. Two more wild deer carrying babies. Look at the bellies on those boogers. My goodness. Look at the bellies on you girls. The second one doesn't have, you can see the bugs are bad. The second one doesn't have quite the belly on. The first one does, but those are, those are three. Wild deer. Now, this one doesn't have the belly that the first one that come up here did, but she's got a big belly on her. She's probably carrying twins as well. We could have five or six babies right there. And we've worked on the coyotes some, but uh, we've got a long way to go to get rid of all of them. Probably had Ty not had his wreck, uh, he would have got another 10 or 15 or 20 off of here. And uh, you can see this big, big doe come up here. So close, look at her, look at her where she is. She would have a tag in that ear right there, her left ear, but she's a big doe and you can almost see those babies moving. Look at that. Now there's a very, very unusual shot to see on anybody's YouTube channel. Share that and tell them that that's a wild doe, no tags, born in the wild, raised in the wild, totally wild. And you can almost see the babies moving inside of her. She is so close. She's uh, eight yards away, seven or eight yards away. Now look down here, these other two, they're a little reluctant to come up here. Where are you, baby? There you are. Boy, she's got a big belly as well. Oh my goodness, she's got, she's probably carrying twins for sure. We just got to have some babies running around. Wild babies running around. I like to watch them, one of the reasons is as you're watching them, they are wild and they're suspicious of coming this close to the house. And of course, this close to some blonde headed Indian here. Uh, <laughs> some blonde headed Indian up here talking and throwing out deer food. That one's not nearly as big and fat as the other ones. Now these deer likely are bred to forest or TC. That's a very likely possibility probably are bred to one of our Iowa bucks that we got from uh, Adam Hagelin. 
so they probably will have babies that have extremely good genetics. Those could actually be, well, no, the only way they'd be be wild deer born out. That happened to be bred to uh, to one of our one of our Iowa bucks. You can see how beautiful and fat they are, and how big they are. Just huge, huge, huge deer. And my man Forrest, Forrest, we're gonna we're gonna end this little look through right here, just looking at you real close. And as I start moving around, when I move, they get a little bit nervous. Those wild deer. But it's uh, pretty good. Hopefully, we get some of the other bucks up here in the next two or three days. Like I said, uh, not going to be here too awful much. And we've got a lot of wind forecasts. We'll try to get them early in the morning, right after daylight. And we will try to take looks at them, try to take looks at them right before dark when maybe the wind lays. And otherwise, we might just have to fight some wind noise and put some music on it or something. I don't know. Y'all probably rather hear music than me anyway. <laughs>